Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well today. Uh, mask in hand. I've just packed and getting into something very exciting for us. So we finally have our office for Care Organics and it is the very first time we actually have an office of our own. And just see how beautiful the place is. I love the greenery. Um, I have a feeling I'll be spending a lot of time actually outside. And I mean, it's a small office. It's really nothing to, uh, you know, brag about. But for us, it is everything. For me, it's everything. For me, it's the beginning of this amazing journey. And even though the journey has been a couple of years now, actually, because we um, set up in 26, 2014 and um, formally launched in 2016, uh, this will be basically the first time we have our own space. Uh, most of it, <clears throat> as some of you may already know, was um, done from home. And I guess and that's how business starts. You know, you start off slowly and I love... Uh, you know, the quote that says, just start with what you have, start small, start anywhere, start struggling, start trembling, but just start. And that's that's what I did with um, Care Organic. So I'll show you the space. It's uh, nothing's in there for now. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the door. So it'll be it'll have a lot of echo. So I'll not talk much when inside, but I'll just show you um, how it is. There you are. So it's, it's a small space, um, it could probably, you know, with a couple of partitions, maybe a small kitchenette, some storage. Um, it will not be a shop front, but it could be a pickup for people who would want to collect their items directly from, from us and those who already do. But yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited and, and I'm looking forward just to sit here every day. And I know with Corona, you know, we've been working at home. We've, we're a very small team um, and we've been working from home. So if you have a toddler like me, you will know the, how important it is, it is to actually have a space that you can work that's quiet, that's, that will give you, uh, you know, just raise a sharp focus because that's what you need, um, you know, when, focusing on your business so I'm really excited about about this office it's um, it's a first for us and I'm very thankful to God to my team uh, to my friends who have supported me and to every single person who has bought a Kiara product all right and I will do today's video from here there is a bit of an echo almost like the last video and some of you complained about it but don't you worry in another a couple of weeks we will be able to spruce this place up um, you know just so that also the sound can be uh, absorbed you know either there will be some carpeting or something on the walls so that we, you don't hear that echo you know because it's so empty now and there's basically nothing in it so I'm really looking forward and I love design I love beautiful spaces so I cannot wait for you to see what I want to do to the space and I am sure you will love it. Anyway, so I was telling you the story about care and actually why I wanted to do this video, why I want to do this video is specifically for those of us who have started a small business at home and were never really sure where you wanted the business to go in the beginning and then with time you see, you know, this business seems to be picking up and then it picks up enough for it to actually, you know, carry its own feet for you to have a couple of members of staff and then the business begins to take off. And I feel that even though this year has been a difficult one for, for many of us, especially, um, you know, with my background in media, the, that space has been very difficult for many people. But, you know, thankfully, I've always had this um, side hustle. So when I resigned in June, I actually resigned to focus on Kara as a full-time business. And yes, it's crazy um, because I still don't really have a proper salary from it. And But I believe in it and I've always been hopeful and I'm one of those people who totally believe in a dream 
when it keeps me up at night. And Care has been one of those things for me. So meanwhile, if you haven't already checked out our website, it's www.care.co.ke, K-E-Y-A-R-A, and you can actually go there and purchase some products. We do skincare and we're very passionate about it. And for those who have already used it, uh, trust me, you may never find the same product again. So we dare you. Anyway, so I started off care with 60,000 shillings, which I took out of my salary. And the reason I started it was my oldest daughter has eczema. And those of you who have children with eczema would know that it's one of the most difficult skin care, uh, skin conditions to deal with, um, especially because there's no real treatment for it. So it's about managing the process and managing during the bottom of the cycle, when there's no um, flare-up, so to speak. So because of that, I started going to look around for medication or just solutions. And I met this doctor who told me, there's this product, it's called Shea Butter, it's 100% natural, and you can use it to manage the bottom of the cycle, so that you don't um, expose your child to harsh chemicals, to preservatives, to perfumes, and all, some of these things will really irritate um, the skin. So I started looking for it and I couldn't find it. And when I did, it was expensive and it was just in one um, outlet. And at the same time, I'd also been talking to other mothers within my circle who were looking for the same thing. And there was also the beginning of the natural hair cycle which i think has played a really big role in growing the number of small businesses in skin and hair care that you're seeing today um, and not just in kenya but across the world so it was like some sort of renaissance of you know getting back to our roots and just embracing our you know african natural hair which i've not been great with you can see um, but i'm such a fanatic of, of good skin and I've always done you know, what I could to ensure that my skin was great. I take care of it a lot. So when I started off care with, with just a share butter, with time I realized that there's so many other natural products that we can use on our faces and our bodies um, so as not to irritate them so much and also just you know, give us that natural, beautiful glow. So you know, I stumbled upon a number of great oils such as marula oil, moringa oil um, and some other really amazing oils that mostly originate from Africa including ergon oil for instance. So I use um, marula oil for my as a night oil which I swear by and I always say it doesn't matter how old you are but when you're doing your evening routine you need to use an oil. Um, of course make sure that it's something that works for your skin. The lighter the oil the better. So instead of going for the heavier oils like shea butter, you can use the lighter oils like moringa, uh, like marula, like argan, because those are really, really great for your, for your skin. Anyway, so that's how we grew. We grew by listening to what our clients want. We grew by listening to even ourselves and what we wanted. And I'm a mother, so I know um, how important it is for mothers to get the best product for their children. So, so in as much as all that time, uh, it, was, it didn't start off as a formal business. With time, I began to see that there is potential. So we first started selling off, um, selling our product at farmer's markets. So the first one was Pridey Arms, which uh, is in Karen. And then later on, we did the flea market in K1 and a couple of the others as well. And then we realized there's actually potential for our products to, to find a good market. And that's, and then we focused on it, focused on it. Um, for the longest time, I, I didn't take the business as seriously as I could have um, because I was doing other things. And, that, and that's a challenge with, with side hustles. Um, sometimes it's not easy to give it 100%. And even when you want to, you're already maybe employed somewhere else and your Monday to Friday is basically taken by, um, by your employment. And that's, what's, that's what happened to me until this year, which is when I decided no. Um, and this business deserves the attention that, you know, it, it deserves attention. And I'm so glad I made that decision because I'm seeing the business grow. Even then when 
uh, you know, this corona hit. Of course, it was difficult for the first couple of months, but then we really focused on our social media space and we began to see some growth. So we partnered with a company called Mzizi, um, it's from the Patri Group, and they basically turned our website into an online shop. I'll tap them down below, and those of you who are in business and you're in retail and you're selling something, that is such an important partner to have because they take care of basically all your pain points. And as a business, you know, logistics is hard in terms of deliveries. Um, just having a platform that works and not getting people calling you all the time, or oh, we can't reach, or oh, we can't download, or oh, we can't uh, complete the transaction. So Mizizi for us has been the partner that has really steered us um, on that digital space. So I'd like to challenge whatever it is you're selling, whether it's skincare like us, hair care, um, crafts that you make at home, jams, um, there's an airplane, kind of overhead. So whatever it is basically that you're, you're, you're selling or making, uh, you, know, you can be able to sell it on Mzizi. And so they just take a very little percentage of what you sell and it takes away all the headache, you get a new market and you, your, your business, for me, like for me, it actually just, you know, hit the road running on that. So the next phase has always been, now that we have a small team, um, we need an office of our own. So be, before now, uh, well, first I started of course at home and then we um, started sharing an office with another business that I had started a couple of years ago, it's called Scalit, though I'm not active in that business anymore. So we, I requested the CEO um, to give us some space to run Kara. And then, you know, the business started to grow and now I felt like it's time for us to have our own space. And this is in my deepest, deepest um, place, uh, a, a new beginning. So, so I'll, I'll take you through the journey of how the office uh, shapes up. And I just want to challenge those of you who also may be in the cottage business. And the cottage business is basically businesses that you start at home. There is so much potential. And um, some of you may have seen the 100 Kenyan Brands in 100 Days campaign that I've been running on my Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well. That there's so many people doing amazing, amazing, amazing businesses. And nothing should lead, should convince you not to do it, no matter how small. Just the other day, I interviewed a lady uh, called Grace Usenge, who runs Ayana Handmade. And Ayana Handmade is actually our competition at um, Keara, and she makes natural uh, products for, natural products, 100% natural products for hair and, and skin. And guess what? She started off with two kilograms of shea butter, two kilograms. Today she has 15 products. And her story is incredibly amazing. I've also shared it on my IGTV, um, Under Biashara Talk. Please make sure you go and see it. And tag somebody who has an idea, but they're feeling like I don't have the kind of money to start a business. Uh, a few, I think the other week, I also interviewed somebody who started her business with a thousand shillings because she needed two t-shirts. And now, up to last month, she had actually sold 10,000 units of face masks, 10,000 units. She started off with two t-shirts and then got it started, you know, doing some branding and some merchandising. Now she got into the PPE space, two t-shirts, less than a thousand shillings. So let nobody tell you that you cannot start a business. And if you haven't watched the previous video where I said you can, uh, I talked about 10 businesses, you can start with under 10,000 shillings and I know there's been many questions about that but I'll just say do your research do your research and you will always find a way you don't have to start big um, I mean if you can start big that's amazing but if you start small build your credit history build your books it will be so much easier to get credit as you go along you know if you start small ask for 50k from the bank keep growing ask for 100k Keep growing ask for a million and that's how you know the business grows so do not be afraid to to start small well so on that note I'm going to wind up today's video um, in the course of the week probably next week I'll come back and we'll do a whole video of now setting up the office how it's going to look 
um, and and yeah, and then and then we'll, we'll just challenge each other to keep going and to keep focusing and putting our eyes on the prize. So my final final statement is on anybody who has a business idea and they have been thinking about it for a while and they haven't done it, just start. Just start. If anything keeps you up at night, tossing and turning, because that's what happens to me. When I think about uh, a new business, it just keeps my mind completely occupied. Sometimes I can't sleep. Then I know that I need to do it. So if there's something that's giving you sleepless nights and it's a business idea, start doing your research and just start. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope you do. If you uh, know somebody who might want to hear the words that I've shared today, please share. For now, thank you so much and see you soon.